Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick video on how to make better instant mashed potatoes. Now I know a lot of people turn their nose up at instant mashed potatoes and, they, and a lot of restaurants pretty much use instant mashed potatoes and they just add water to them. But what I do is I like to add half and half when it says for when it says for the water portion uh, I use the half and half and then for the milk part I would use the water so I'm gonna make one portion of potatoes today and we're gonna talk a little bit about the potatoes I want to mention one thing first these are great value instant mashed potatoes and I just tried these last week I've already tried them. Uh, I tried them last week, and they're pretty good. Let me tell you, they did not taste gummy or sticky or anything like that. And another thing I want to mention, if you don't have milk or half and half, okay, which I'm going to demonstrate today. I do have half and half, but I'm not going to be using that today. I am going to be using coffee creamer. Price Chopper Coffee Creamer. Okay? For when you don't have milk. What I did, I have it right here. I I uh, heated up uh, two-thirds a cup of water because that's how much uh, potatoes I'm going to need. This is approximately two good-sized tablespoons of the creamer and one teaspoon good size now um what i'm going to do now is while we're while i'm talking i'm going to make the potatoes so this is i have my potatoes over here all ready to go they're nice and soft and fluffy flaky now i like to call this my uh instant mashed potato bowl this tells me how you know how much of a serving it is basically so I don't over make uh, well besides the directions on the box sometimes I don't even pay attention this is actually one of those ramen noodle soup bowls I save all kind of bowls like that so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put my milk in here and I'm gonna put my water in here and I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, salt and pepper in here I'll add more later and I'm going to add my butter later. And honestly, I can't tell you how much butter it's to taste, salt and pepper to taste. But I'm going to talk about stuff like that in a minute. I'm just going to reach over here to my handy dandy microwave and heat this up for about two minutes. All right. That should make it hot enough. Okay. So let's talk about how else. Yeah, how else? How we can fix up uh, our potatoes as well. All right. I'm going to be putting garlic powder in mine. I like garlic powder. And I'm going to be putting some chives in. Okay. Now, also, you can do things like bacon bits. I mean, you can pretty much fix them up uh, any way you want the instant mashed potatoes. Um, a crazy thing I did last week, uh, off topic, I wanted gravy, okay? And I didn't have any beef gravy, so I actually took two beef bouillon cubes and I put them in a coffee mug with some hot water, heat it up really good, and I put some cornstarch, no salt because the bouillon cubes are salty enough, and pepper, and I made beef gravy. So, yeah, when you don't have something, you know, all you got to do is um, improvise. That's all you have to do. And this is going to be ready in, like, uh, 50 seconds. So, let's see. What else can I talk about for 50 seconds here? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? You know what else you could do with these uh, instant mashed potatoes? You know, when you make a, a portashima, or some people call it shepherd's pie. My, my meme always called it portashima, Canadian French. Uh, it's much quicker, much easier to just use instant mashed potatoes 
instead of, a, you know, cooking down the potatoes, you know, peeling them, mash them, all that stuff like that, and layering them up. Or, if you're going to make homemade pierogies, I mean, what better way to make nice, smooth potatoes, and, you know, not all clumpy potatoes, and less work, too, because naturally you're going to be making your own dough. So, there's the microwave, so let's go on ahead and uh, grab our milk mixture. All right. So here we have our milk mixture. Oh, look how hot that is. All right, so we're just going to dump our potatoes in here. Okay, and now we're going to put some, maybe a garlic powder, however much you want. Okay, and I'm going to put in my butter. I like a lot of butter. Whoops, moving that camera. In a minute, it's going to end up on the floor, and then mm -hmm. where will I be? Which, by the way, speaking of, well, this is my new cell phone. Um, this video was made with my new Journey, uh, LG Journey cell phone that I bought just uh, for pictures and videos. So I'm making mine buttery. Yeah, what the heck, throw a little more in there. Okay. So, what else I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some chives because I like chives. I think I got these at the dollar store. Oh, I'm getting low on them too. However much you want. I mean, you could put onion in it. You could put um, minced onion in it. Whatever you want. And we're just going to mix them up here. And I, believe me, I will eat this whole portion of potatoes. Sometimes I just like to have like mashed potatoes and a vegetable or just a bowl of mashed potatoes with uh, some gravy or, I just like mashed potatoes. I just like mashed potatoes. Who knows? Maybe it's a, maybe it's an Irish thing. I don't know. So this is one serving. Now. Basically, to me, this is one serving. On the box, this is basically two thirds uh, a cup of potatoes, and they're calling it they're calling it two servings. Okay, it's uh, you make it's two thirds a cup of the potatoes, uh, the water, the milk, two thirds a cup of milk, and the fourth a cup of the water. Okay, now. You can even put cheese in your potatoes. I've done that before. I'm just trying to say instant mashed potatoes are just so easy for all kinds of all kinds of things. I don't know what happened with that. I had it all lined up and eh, whatever. All right. So here we go. Damn it. Oops, sorry. Here you go. Instant mashed potatoes. All right, guys. Um, I hope I've uh, given you some new ideas on what you can do. Oh, also, uh, you can actually, um, I believe, thicken soups and stuff with instant mashed potatoes. I haven't tried it, but I'm going to try it. Because I'm going to be making, I think next week or the week after, I'm going to be making homemade uh, potato corn chowder. So I'm going to be trying be trying something new. And I'll let you, maybe I'll let you know how that works out. But, there you go guys. Instant mashed potatoes that don't taste like cardboard. Alright guys, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and everybody have a great day. Bye.